Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Um, we were going on how to make things easier in purchasing last time. Uh, we were talking about purchase invoicing and how to create purchase invoices quickly with like a recurring template. Uh, and I'm gonna just keep going on that now that we've actually, we want to nerd uh, the topics out a little bit. Um, and if I actually create a purchase invoice, so if we go into what I did last time, I actually go into uh, purchase invoice right here. <clears throat> and take a look at, for example, this one. And I have these three lines here. And I actually just went into get recurring purchase lines and that inserted those three lines. So obviously I would have to have a header uh, and it has to be populated with the vendor uh, and all the information that I need to put there. And let's say, for example, that I don't want to do the header either. Uh, that is always the same. So it's annoying to me to actually go in there and create the header and then, you know, switch out all the information and the shipping and all of that, and then put in the lines. I want the entire thing to copy over. And there is, of course, uh, a way to do that in an AV, and that is called copy document. So I'm going to show you that. So if I go into just creating a new uh, purchase invoice, like so, so when it comes up here with new up here, right? That means that it hasn't really created a record yet in the system. If I go into the next line, it all of a sudden gives it a number. Here's 1005. Now that means now it's a record and uh, you can copy into it. Uh, and it's obviously saying we're missing a vendor, vendor invoice and some lines. So you should do something here. Um, so I'm gonna go into actions up here and hit copy document, right? Copy document, and I have it filled out from last time. Um, copy document allows me to take whatever purchase document uh, in there. So if I look here in document type, I can take from a quote, from blanket order, order, invoice, from anything, and copy into this. So I'm actually gonna pick it from an invoice, just another invoice. I'm gonna pick, uh, let's see, uh, 1003 right here and it fills up and then it asks me do you want to include the header yes i don't want to type that in again and recalculate lines if it actually recalculates the lines it's going to bring in the latest prices or latest costs um, that you might have set up in tables but i'm going to leave the lines as they are so i just want them copied in straight so i don't check recalculate lines and if i hit ok on this notice it fills out the vendor contact everything um, and so this is both the header and the lines in this case. And uh, if you're always copying the same thing over and you need the header to be a part of that, it might be better just to set up a, uh, like a templated invoice out there or an order that you always copy from and you just never really deal with uh, in any other way. So it's like a template. Um, and uh, I mean, that's, that's basically the easiest way to go around doing everything. One comment on this about comments uh, is that it does not copy the comments over for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I was checking on that and the comments are not copied over. So if you have comments, you'd like them to be copied over, like in the comment sheet, they don't come over. However, if you put the comments in the line, like so, here's a comment this will get copied over. Um, so put them in the lines, if obviously they're gonna be printed out for the vendor, um, and then it's gonna fly over, like no problem. Uh, oh, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you like this, uh, hit thumbs up if you did, uh, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks, until next time.